guys, it's Nicole here, and this is my, what month is it, June favourites vlog. Um, sorry I didn't post a video last week, it's been a bit hectic, I've just finished college for the year until I start uni in September, and it's coming into festival season, so there's a lot of things going on in work and at liveware, so I'm basically a very busy, slightly stressed out bee, so um, yeah, apologies for that, but if you hadn't worked it out already from my Freedom Fields festival vlog that I did two weeks ago now, um, when I go to work at the festivals this summer, so I have four that I should be doing, I am basically going to try and do a compilation vlog of when I work there and if there's any festivals that I play at, I'm also going to put hopefully a little clip of me playing or some photos or something like that so there should be a lot of really fun festival vlogs this year um, well a good few and so yeah I'm really excited for that so if I don't post weekly at the minute I'm really sorry but everything is just so hectic and busy and I'm trying to learn new songs to play for the summer anyway um, with my guitar because obviously I don't use just backing tracks um, when I'm playing live it's a bit hectic at times, so please bear with me, but I will try my best to do weekly videos for you, but if not, then maybe in the weeks when I'm less busy, I'll try and do two or something, and then upload them on the week I'm busy. But we'll see how it goes, but yeah, this is my favourites vlog. So, it's mainly, it's pretty much all beauty stuff today, apart from two things, so I'll do the beauty stuff first, and then you can see the other two things, so it's a bit like, Oh, break from beauty. So the first thing is Aussie Miracle Dry Shampoo. You can see there. And this is one that I've used before, but I've never been able to get it in a big bottle. And it was quite expensive, but it seems to be the only dry shampoo that not only myself, but also my boyfriend get along with, because he also uses this if he's in a rush. So. Yeah, this is the best one i found so far, so I kind of have to be use it really sparsely if I can, but obviously it's quite hard because it's in a spray. But yeah, that's my top pick for dry shampoo from now on. The second thing is Radox Feel Pampered with Shea Butter and Ginger Nourishing Shower Cream. This one, and... I really like this, not just because it smells nice and it was 99p in Superdrug on offer, um, which is always a bonus when you're a student, but I really like it because I've noticed that my skin is a lot softer and it just smells really nice in the shower. I think it's probably one of the best shower creams that I've used. I don't tend to be someone who goes for moisturising shower creams, so when I do, it has to be really good or I won't use it again so this one I will use again so big ups to you guys because I don't tend to stick with this kind of stuff so I'm definitely going to get this again especially if it's on offer but I think I like it enough to pay the full price anyway so yeah I really like this one it makes your skin feel so soft and smooth which I think especially in the summer is nice because you, I guess if you're wearing shorts and stuff or you're wearing t-shirts it's kind of nice to know that your skin is feeling all nice um, because I guess it just makes you feel like you look better as well so that's that one my third one is and this is quite ironic really since it's been raining for the past few days but this is Nivea Sun Protection Refresh Invisible Cooling Sun Spray and because I'm really pale and burn really quickly it's 50 high and this was really expensive for me personally this was like eight pounds seven eight pounds i think which for only 200 mils of sun cream or sun lotion seems like quite a lot because it's not if the, if the sun does come back out before i leave to work at the first festival of the year for me like i'll have probably already used all of it if i'm wearing shorts and things so it works out quite expensive for me but I would much rather protect my skin and be safe than getting really badly burnt, especially if I'm working at a festival. I got burnt by accident last year purely because like, I'd reapplied my sun cream and everything, but I'd just been out in it all day and 
I probably should have reapplied my sun cream maybe one more time than I actually had and it was awful sleeping in a tent with sunburn and having to work as stage crew in black clothing the following day feeling absolutely rubbish basically so if you're going to a festival this year I'd highly recommend this it's said it's non-greasy it is still greasy obviously no sun creams are ever going to be non-greasy but it is the best spray that I've used so far. Fourth thing and this is for skincare and I normally always use tea tree facial washes <laughs> facial washes um, but I found that they're more expensive now I don't know if that's because they're more popular or if it's because they're actually less popular now because there's more choice um, but I thought I'd give this a try because I have their facial wipes which I've just finished using actually but this is simple kind to skin refreshing facial wash gel and it's 100% soap free and it looks like this just this on the back and it's in a little squeezy squeezy tube um, I really like this again I feel it's quite expensive but I did already know know that simple is a more expensive brand but for I've used this now for uh, two weeks in the morning I wouldn't say it's any better than the tea tree facial washes I've been using I'd say it's about the same but I would say it burns my skin a lot less um, and it's a lot easier to rinse off as well so I think in that sense simple wins the facial wash battle so my next thing is also by Simple and I bought this on offer with the other one so I could get everything cheaper and I thought I'd give it a try. This is Simple Clear Skin Oil Balancing Moisturiser and it controls shine um, which for me with combination skin where I get it dry up here and then on my forehead or on my nose it gets quite shiny. This is like oil in the pores. I found this is really good, I've hardly had to use any of this to put it all on my face, just rub it in circles before I go to bed or after I've used the facial wash and it's been really good every time. Again if I bought this on its own it would be more expensive but I think that if it keeps giving me the results that it does I'm more than likely going to stick to simple. The next two are makeup ones and I'm actually wearing makeup today. Um, uh, as you might have noticed from my previous favourites videos, I've got quite a few bits of Miss Sporty makeup but I'm kind of moving away from that now and so I thought I'd give these guys a try for some new foundations. So this collection, this is the ivory shade because I got light skin and um, this is naturally matte all day fresh matte, fresh matte finish foundation. And it looks like this and I think, I think this was £2, it was either 2 or £3. Um, which because I don't wear makeup every day is for me a really good value because I'm not going to use it all up within a month. I have found that it matches my skin pretty much perfectly. I'm really happy with it so far. My last one is a lipstick and this is also by collection. I had to check the bottom then. This is the Lasting Colour Tropical Sunset. As you can see there and it's got a pretty top. You can probably see the reflection of the camera in it and it looks like this and it is the one that I'm wearing now and I think everyone will have probably realised from my videos and just people that know me I don't wear lipstick like this this is the first time I've worn lipstick like this I've wanted really nice lipstick for ages but wasn't brave enough to do it and also thought that it was all going to be really expensive the collection one wasn't I can't remember how much it was but I remember being like, pleasantly surprised by the price so I wasn't bothered about it and I'm really happy with it and that is the end of my beauty stuff gone okay so we'll do like home fragrancy stuff now so I have one thing for this and this is by Village Candles so I'm not sure where my parents bought it from I think it might have been Trago Mills actually which for anyone who lives in Cornwall, we all know Trago Mills is awesome. But yeah, this is Nantucket Cranberry. And as you can see, I've used, like, I've pretty much used all of it now. 
but I just love the smell of it and especially if I light it maybe an hour before I like properly set it down so I go to sleep in bed I find it really relaxing and it just makes your room especially on rainy days like today just feel really warm and welcoming and just all cozy so yeah I really love this candle so everyone who knows me especially at college knows that I absolutely love and swear by PVC electrical tape, gaffer tape, and sharpies. I have actually recovered these from one of my old rucksacks that I used last year at Boardmasters. I thought I'd use these up or that someone had pinched them, to be honest. But I have found my mini sharpies. Wait, there we go. There's one. The green one. There's two my red one and an awesome purple one that Heather got me for this Christmas just gone. So I am on the hunt for as many Sharpies as possible that I thought I had lost and maybe I haven't lost or maybe someone hasn't pinched them or maybe I've not used them up and I've just forgotten about them. So I'm on the hunt for even more Sharpies in my room at the moment but I feel like Sharpies deserve to be in my favourites video right before like the festival season personally for me kicks off so yeah I really love Sharpies basically and everyone's gonna think I'm a complete weirdo but I really don't care anymore if you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe because that would be awesome and it's in the little bowl little bowl it's the little button below the video please click it thank you but yeah really hope you enjoy it I will honestly try my hardest to try and get a video out next week if not there will definitely be one the week after because one master's auditions on thursday at livewire i will get someone to film my audition set i'm playing two songs so i'm probably going to do one with my guitar and one bigger song with the backing track so i will record that edit it and get it up for you next week so you have actually something that's musical and not just me talking a load of rubbish. Have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye!